Hey guys, welcome back. I'm going to be painting the core support, um, the blower motor cover, and the frame and A-arms and stuff with this, which I have never used before. This is Rust Performer. Instantly converts rust to protected, paintable surface. Never used it, I know nothing about it. Nothing I'm doing in this video, I recommend if you want to do a nice restoration. This is just being done to just make it look a little nicer and to hopefully slow down the rust process until somebody in the future, you know, wants to clean it up. So um, this stuff here, um, I've never, like I said, I've never used it. Um, I'm trying to see. You don't have to put a top coat. Allow, allow more time in cooler temperatures. I'm actually heating up the spray booth right now because it was at 50 degrees when I got home today because it's going down to 26 degrees tonight. You have something in my eye. It's going down to 26 tonight, so it's gonna be cold. So I'm heating it up uh, probably at about 70 or so. I don't have the heater going full blast. I just have it on halfway. Um, it says, dry and recoat times based on 70 degrees 50 percent humidity allow more time in cooler temperatures allow to dry for 24 hours if desired apply a top coat after 24 hours so you have to wait 24 hours before top coating it i don't think i'm going to waste my time putting a top coat on it um, so i'm just going to put a couple coats of this on um, basically i took a piece of plastic over the whole car i taped around the top of the blower motor cover and kind of half-ass tape the firewall here and there, and I'm gonna use a piece of cardboard. And we're gonna hold this up, kind of cover the firewall and stuff, and we are going to do this like something I would have done when I was in high school. And we are just going to make this look better than what it currently does, and hopefully this stuff does do something, and it converts the rust and, you know, slows its process down. Uh, and then I'll probably get a can of orange engine paint. I might even have some, which I won't do on this video. I'll have to do that later because I gotta let this stuff dry. So, all right, I'm gonna go out there, put my respirator on, and let's put a couple coats of this on. It's not gonna be a real long video. Just wanna see what it does, see what it looks like, see if it looks any better. I did knock off all the chunky stuff before I painted the car. I used uh, the DA sander and stuff and kind of got all the chunky stuff off because that's what they recommend. Um, let me double check here. Uh, preparation. Yep. Remove loose paint and rust with wire brush or sandpaper. Lightly sand glossy surfaces. Clean with soap and water. I use lacquer thinner. Rinse and let dry. Warning if you scrape sand or remove old paint. Oh, you may release lead. All that stuff. Um, so yeah, I, I took off as much loose stuff as I could get to. Let's put it that way. Because obviously I can't get in every nook and cranny unless I take the thing completely apart. So let me set up. Let's put a couple coats of this on there and see what it does. Some paint's going to get on the wires and stuff. I'm not worried about it. Um, I did move the car back a little bit so that the heater wasn't blowing right on the metal.
I'll tell you what, when it dries, it actually looks pretty damn good. And by the way, I hate spray painting.
Okay, I'm gonna let that dry for a couple minutes and we'll take a look at it. Um, I call this the Craigslist rebuild. Obviously, this is not the correct way to do it. You know, if you're doing a car and you want a nice job, take it apart. Take your suspension apart, get it sandblasted, pull your motor out, clean everything up nicely. You don't necessarily have to take it off the frame. You know, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to put new body mounts on the car, but you could still put the body mounts on the car with the frame on the car by simply just, you know, doing one side at a time and jacking the body up enough to get it in there. Um, <clears throat> Let me know if anybody's used this stuff before, if it actually does anything or is it just a gimmick? You know, does it really convert the rust? I, I doubt it in my eyes. I don't really see how it could, but I don't know. Um, so go easy, me, easy on me on this video, guys. I know this is not correct, but I wanted to video it because I didn't want to just get ready to start putting the car together and be like, ta-da! I spent all this time and cleaned the engine compartment and sanded it all down to perfect bare metal and painted it. I didn't want you guys to think, you know, that's what I did or or I was trying to pretend like that's what I did because at no point was I ever intending to really do anything with the engine compartment. I'm just trying to clean it up a little bit. Um, I'm gonna take, like I said, some Chevy orange paint and just try to clean the valve covers up a little bit. I did sand them down and stuff, but the motor looks like it sat in the ocean. It's just all rusty. It needs it needs some major attention. But I'll just take some some orange and just clean it up a little bit for now. Um, somebody's already done it. There's already orange paint on a bunch of hoses and stuff in there, so somebody's already doused it with some orange paint at some point. Um, the inner wheel wells and all those other brackets that I sandblasted, I am going to paint those correctly. I'm going to use a satin black single stage paint and I'm gonna put down an epoxy primer first over the bare metal. So I am gonna epoxy primer them, then we're gonna shoot them satin black, but I need to get the car out of here in order to do that. Um, so I think once I paint the motor, which I'll just do that probably tomorrow, I'm not gonna video that, it's gonna be horrible. But um, once I do that and I get a, a day where it's not raining and I can move the car outside, we'll paint all those satin black parts. Um, I think what else there is. Maybe I'll try to put these doors on while it's in the spray booth. I'll move it to one side of the booth. I have those real nice dollies that you can use to slide the car over. And I have a um, a door dolly that jacks the car, jacks the door up. So I shouldn't have any problem putting it on myself. I've used it before for the 59 and it worked out really well. So you can kind of take your time with that dolly and get it into place and get it exactly where you want it rather than having two people struggle and trying to hold it while you're trying to get the bolts in and stuff. And we still have a little bit of blue parts to paint as well. The wheel skirts, the underside of the trunk lid, hopefully the, in, the uh, oh, that lower balance below the grill, and if I have some paint left inside that uh, trunk. So, um, but that's about it. I, I, like I said, I think I do want to get the doors on, um, get them latching again. Uh, then I could roll the windows up if it's sitting outside and it starts raining or something. At least it's interior won't get wet. Uh, I think that's about it though. Um, let's go take a look at it and we'll see what it looks like. And once again, please let me know if anybody's used it and have noticed anything. I mean, if it does anything, does it start rusting again in a week? I don't know. I mean, it doesn't look bad. It looks pretty damn good actually. See, if I would have done this off camera and came back and showed you guys this, you would have just thought that I did a really fucking badass job cleaning this up and painting it, you know? And, and I did. You saw what I went over. So, alright guys, just a quick video. Um, like I said, this has orange paint. This is, I gotta put these back on. But there's orange paint on everything, just everywhere. I mean, what are you gonna do, you know? I'll probably just take some cardboard, a little bit of tape, tape it off, and at least just kind of get the valve covers looking better. You know, maybe clean up the manifolds a little bit. So, all right, guys, well, that's gonna end this video. If you're liking what you're seeing, please like and subscribe. Any questions or comments, feel free to ask.
Um, like I said, don't, don't uh, go easy on me. All right, guys. I'll see you later. Thanks.